Mick Jagger started the rumors of a Jazz Fest performance back in November, and we just learned it is true. The Rolling Stones are coming to New Orleans for the 50th New Orleans Jazz and Heritage Festival. Good afternoon, Eric Paulson. Thank you for joining us today. The highly anticipated roster for this expanded 50th anniversary Jazz Fest was just released, and as we said, the Rolling Stones are coming. That was the worst kept secret of all. Besides the Stones, we also learned about some other headliners and tribute performances to more than 20 past artists. Jade Cunningham is joining us live from the Ween Jazz and Heritage Center on Rampart Street where the Jazz Fest officials put all the rumors to rest. Jade, there were, I mean, we all assumed that the, the Stones were coming, but there were some surprises today. There were some surprises today, Eric, we'll get to that in just a second, but there was so much excitement going into today's uh, big event here. Of course, the big questions were who will be performing at this year's Jazz Fest, and as you mentioned, if the rumors were going to be true uh, that the Rolling Stones would be coming here, and yes, it is true, the Rolling Stones will be here. And now first, though, this year we'll be celebrating 50 years um, for the Jazz Fest, obviously momentous occasion for organizers. Uh, it'll include artists um, from all over. Now paying tributes uh, to musical greats can be expected this year. Um, that includes Fats Domino, Aretha Franklin, others who represent New Orleans and the music here. Um, so that is something that people are very excited about. Other big names though include Dave Matthews, Jimmy Buffett, The Revivalists, you have Ciara, Alanis Morissette. I mean the list really goes on and on and you can actually go probably to our website WWLTV.com. We'll have more information there. It is a huge list. But of course, two big names, a surprising one, uh, Katy Perry. Katy Perry will be performing on April 27th. But of course, a lot of people interested in the Rolling Stones, they'll be performing May 2nd. Um, when that announcement was made at the event today, there were cheers and excitement, but there are some things that people need to know. First of all, it will be a normal festival day, pretty much. All the stages will be running um, that day's Mavis Staples, Ziggy Marley, Tom Jones, and the, all the stages running. They will come down for the start of the English band, who will start about five, who will start about five o'clock. That day, there is a separate is a separate day in the sense because it's the first time we've ever had a ticket, a separate ticket. There'll be a separate ticket to that day. It'll be limited to the number of people that can comfortably fit in front of that stage. Now, even if you have passes, you're still going to need to buy an extra ticket uh, to the Rolling Stones if that's an act that you want to see. Now, just a heads up, tickets for the Rolling Stones are going on sale this Friday to the general public. But I will say that it was announced that on Thursday, this Thursday at 9 a.m. at the Superdome, there is going to be a Rolling Stones local day where locals can go to the Superdome and buy a max of two tickets for the performance uh, before they go on sale to the general public. We'll have more on this story coming up tonight at 5 and 6. For now, though, reporting live, Jay Cunningham, Eyewitness News. Well, there will be a line for those local tickets. All right, Jay, thank you very much.